Hmm. He's not looking like a ghost. So, I was doing some research about what do ghosts look like. Um, inconclusive, but while scrolling through, I found a lot of this analog horror stuff where it's looking all, all VHS-y. And so, I handed that off to the video editor, Micah. Say hi, Micah. Hi, hi Micah. Hi, Micah. Um, <laughs> and he tried some stuff in After Effects, trying to make him look, look like he was coming out of a VHS tape. I want Mr. Jones to look real otherworldly. And it just wasn't, wasn't quite cutting it. And then I remembered that I have a VHS tape player. First step was to render it all out frame by frame as PNG so there was no background. So we would have our three main kids and then just Mr. Jones. And then we'd send Mr. Jones over to the video editing suite. Alright, so then we take the footage of Mr. Jones, we import it as a PNG sequence, and what I've done is I put him on a green background with four orange dots. Now, I did this in Premiere Pro, it would probably, in theory, be easier to do in After Effects, I'm just a little more comfortable with Premiere Pro. So we take that, we export it as a video. Then we go to the VHS. Okay, now that we have Mr. Jones on his beautiful green screen, uh, the next step is to put him onto the VHS. So, step one, you need a donor VHS. We will be using Folk Art One Stroke Painting Made Easy. Uh, it was, I believe, 70 cents at a thrift store. Uh, so you're gonna load that, you load that into the VHS player, and, uh, then we've got the computer is plugged into the VHS tape player, which is then plugged into the TV so we can make sure that it's going. Thank you. We're gonna start, we're gonna press the record button on the VHS player, and let it run for a second so we make sure we're not cutting anything off. Press play. And now, Mr. Jones is being encoded line by line onto the VHS tape. Once Mr. Jones has been lovingly taped onto the VHS, we plug the VHS into a video capture card, which is plugged into the laptop. And if you capture Mr. Jones, you capture his soul off the VHS tape into the computer. And so now, It will be pulling all that analog flavor into the computer. Back to the editing suite! <laughs> Alright, so now that we've done that, we took the files from the laptop and we put them back on my computer. So now I have the green screen footage we put together in... So then we take the footage from the VHS and we import that to After Effects with the original green screen. The reason we put the tracking dots is because the VHS compresses the video and it squeezes it together in a way that's not good for us. So then we go through and we just kind of stretch it out. We're going to put it on a difference mat so we can see the difference. So then when we get it lined up, we take it off the difference layer. We cut this out. And bada bing bada boom, we have that. Now we can take that into, back into Premiere, which it, you could do it in After Effects, I'm just more comfortable with Premiere. And we go through, and I've already done it, but we mask out all the artifacts we don't want. Because we don't want the VHS effect over the whole screen, obviously we don't want the orange dots. Then we bring it into the final video, and boom. How come playing Mothman didn't work? Because it is rock and roll! I told you so! That's enough screwing around. We've got work to do. Oh no. You work for us now. We just saved your life. Or death, I guess? Yeah. You're on our time now, old man. Let's go, Mia. Wait, what about setting me free? Guy. Dude, you coming? Guess we'll do it tomorrow. Ugh. I'm never gonna die, am I? Not with that attitude. <laughs>